flying school thingy. I'm a flob flob. Hello. Craziness. Oh. Hi. Today we got the Catafull Ellie. Meow. <laughs> we got I, Princess I Fluffy's eye. Hi. I think there might be a KT like just doodling on a canvas with CPC somewhere. I don't know. They they just sort of pop around. That would be a beautiful thing. Yay. I'd love to see that. Welcome. You know the drill. Uh, if you got pictures, submit them to us, and we'll critique them. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. And uh, pay Ellie Claw twenty nine ninety five for this usual streaming goodness. It will oh. go right to the I'll... cat fund, so she can buy more yeah. cats and become a crazy cat lady. I'll start. I'll start a Patreon for every dollar you donate. I send a picture. They may be blurry, because cats get blurry really fast. <laughs> Just do a Kofi. It'll be <laughs> fine. Then you don't have to do okay. any work. <laughs> hey, listen. I've seen some things. People do good with that. Maybe, maybe not with cats, but... Anyway, hey, ponies. Hey, horses. You can send a picture our way. Hey, Absolutely. equines. <gasps> well, we wait for Yay. your picture, we're going to do the first one of uh, Mr. Bricknowalls. That is the sunset shimmer up in the top left hand corner. I appreciate Ooh. a good bacon main. Yes. I wonder if her main actually tastes like bacon if you chew on it. There's only one way to find out. <laughs> I'd be scared to know the pony in Equestria that knows what bacon tastes like. They're trouble. <laughs> <laughs> the report it would be idea. sunset. <laughs> uh, yeah, it probably would be Lyra. <laughs> she knows too much. Yeah, I do. I do like the the idea that like, uh, I think it was in like a story as a fic I was reading once, and they had a uh, just like a line that was like, "Oh, like Gilda convinced Dash to try meat once, and she like did it, but like threw up afterwards." <laughs> like, I could see that happening. <laughs> Absolutely. So, Mr. Brooks in the Walls text is so I'm not exactly a pony, but was drawing sunset shimmer in a bit of an anime style, and I feel like something looked off about the colors and eyes. Any advice? Or that would else would be great. Ooh. I feel like the eyes are a little bit misaligned. I will get to sketching once I manage to set up my tablet. And the commandment, we will do that picture next. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the one thing... I, I know that that is a style for noses, but usually when they only have the singular line, there's a bit of shadow to help define that nose. So... Mm. Right now, I just kind of finished it off so you have a little little bit of nose at the end and a nostril maybe showing through. Because right now, it looks very, like, flat on the face because the shadow isn't quite defining the nose. So that's just something to think of. If, if you're going to do yeah. less lines, you need shadows to compensate to find the form. Especially with something, like, as form-heavy as a face because there's a lot going on. There's bumps and curves and... <laughs> Yeah, getting the sh oh, yeah. getting the shading right in faces is very difficult. I I, I struggle with it. Um, I noticed right off the bat the the arm is very bizarre in how it's shaped. In this, every yeah, I think the was... I think the the clothes creases have sort of gotten away from you there, and it makes it look like the arm's a little bit twisted. Yeah, I just don't remove that clothes creep. Just, yeah, dial it back a little bit, uh, take another attempt at doing that, just sort of focus on folding the creases over one another and not folding the entire, because just, you can see, uh, you can see what we're talking about, I assume, like, the, the fact that it, I almost, I'm just getting my pen, okay, uh, laser, laser pointer, there, there, does that work, okay, pink, that's cool, pink's cool, so you can see how it goes, like, up like this, this section here, ignore the previous line. Uh, so it goes like this, and, and it looks like the arm is bending. That's just because of like the the. Uh, would that be ca counted as a type of tangent? Like no. just like lines sort of causing confusions. It's just the fact they got sort of like oh, there's a crease here. Cool, I got some cool stuff going on. But then you've also got like a, a dip going in here, and that just creates like a little road in the sleeve that makes the arm look like it's doing this. Yeah. That's obviously not your intention. Um, so just be a matter of sort of okay. Uh, so she got an arm here. Cool. That's awesome. Uh, the creases, gravity exists. So let's say they're going to be like 
falling downwards like this. Cool. You can still have it just like super baggy. I am terrible at doing clothes creases. I'm sorry. Um, but it's like, hey, these these creases are falling down like this. If you still want to keep it nice and baggy, you can do that. And that's cool because like the the gravity is pulling the clothes this way. So they're going to create folds. I am very bad at doing it. I would not copy what I've drawn here. I would go find a tutorial for clothing because there are some really great stuff. And it seems very daunting, but it's really fun to figure out. And I also need to go look up a tutorial to do that. So I will do that later. <laughs> we can learn together. That's what AML PDS is about. Hmm. <laughs> Pony in the pocket. I don't like it. That's a very good critique. Hmm, I feel like there is something about the face and the body. I don't know if the head's like at the right position, if you guys... I think it's okay. I don't know if it's a little bit on the small side. It's it's a head. long body. I think that's just all it comes down to. Yeah. I just sort of feel like there's something about the neck. I don't know if that's just me. There's hmm. something about the where the head is attached to the body that's sort of... It looks like if the head was like here. Yeah. And then someone just like moved it back with like they like selected the layer and then dragged it. <laughs> it, it I was sort of getting that impression. I don't know if that's actually just the case or if I'm just being weird. I think it's because so could... the the curve that you're trying to pull off in the body, like if we have the line there, the the hip doesn't agree with it, like the over here, not agreeing mm -hmm. with it. We gotta just pop that butt a bit more. Really crease or roll the back because the way you have it right now it appears as though it's a lot straighter than it is or than it should be for the neck yeah. so I just make her lean back a bit I am also not good at anime eyes I have I used to be good at anime eyes and now I'm not <laughs> I, I do feel like there's something sort of a little bit less uh, focused about the eyes. Ugh, let's rub out my my drawings and just focus on what you had. Um, hmm. So if you think about where she's looking, just sort of if we oh oops I can't. Okay. Oh, there's like a magical ball. Hey, why is that ball floating? That's Twyla. Are you doing that? You know. So now we have something to focus the eyes on. Um, if I just grab. I'm just gonna grab some white. And I'm just gonna go scrubby scrub. Just so we can not be confused by what's already there. Sometimes this helps when you're drawing. Oh look, she's been taken over by the devil. Ah. Sometimes <laughs> it helps when you're drawing to sort of just like get a clean slate rather than try to draw over what's already there because then you can just confuse your brain. Mm hmm. Hmm. I feel like she looks very sort of sleepy and nonchalant now. I don't know if that's actually what you were going for. Especially with the iris is sort of cut off at the top there. Yeah, I wonder if they're going for like a looking at the viewer, like kind of. Could have been. Those are really hard to pull off, and never feel bad about doing them. For me, it just yeah. takes a lot of trial and error till you get something that feels right. I I often find starting with this with the off eye doing it like mm -hmm. a look to the front thing, works helps me place the main eye a little bit. So yeah, like, there I now it's like looking at the viewer a bit more. Yeah. Because uh, I mean that's an approach. I you saw me starting to starting with this eye. And I was struggling to get it in the right place, so I start with this sign, and then somehow that helps me place this one a bit better. Some, it's weird, but it, sometimes it works like that. You know? yeah. So take a different approach if drawing isn't working for you the way you're trying to do it. It doesn't mean that you're bad. It doesn't mean that you can't do what you're trying to do. It just means take a step back, try it from a different angle. Oh, gosh. I somehow just lost... I, I felt something against my finger. The nib of my tablet pen just decided to make an escape. So I'm going to go mm. have to get the police searchlights out and look for the escape convict. Oh no, good luck. Well, she could just turn, turn the torch on my phone. <laughs> Where's my <laughs> phone? Oh my god. <laughs> Everything's running away. I, I don't... I need allies. My phone has left me. I don't know how to search for this now. <laughs> I think okay. otherwise, I don't think there's much else to say. She looks cute, a little bacon hair. Jacket's nice and flowy on the bottom. Yeah, I, I do like the way the, the jacket sort of has this nice flexible sort of motion to it. It's not like doing some big unreasonable thing. It's just like, it's just not sitting all stiffly, you know, it's just really nice. 
Okay, I got the nib. Huzzah, nib. All right, then. Let's move on to our next picture, which is by the commandment. I have to paste it. The commandment is always respect your tools. Huzzah, nib. <laughs> Uh, he won tablet. Who yon? Who yon? Hey guys, I don't have anything specific that I need help with at the moment, but anything you guys think I should fix, it'd be greatly appreciated. Advice or suggestions? Plus, I'll give you ten dollars. <gasps> well, first Did they of all, right no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's pretty much the whole face is really cute. So can I have a tip? No, but really, so it's really cute. cute. It's adorable. Please be drawing my OC. <laughs> <laughs> I love the little freckles. They're adorable. Yeah. Wouldn't be some blush on there. Blushy pony. As as much as as, as uh, we would love to accept money for this, we have no clue how that would work. So it's easy. Yeah. To do. <laughs> but if you feel so inclined, fan art is always appreciated. We always. always get a good laugh. Half of us print it off and stick it on other people's walls while they aren't looking. It's great. <laughs> Wait, we actually get fan art? Yeah. Oh, We've got a, you, everyone's wrong. Yeah. You know, the, the two biggest Let's fan Let's see count givers. KT's or some stuff. I know, I was going to say KT and CPC are the <laughs> most... Our biggest fans. Yeah, pretty much. By the way, you don't have to actually draw the fluff. This is sort of like a running joke in case you're new here. You just like <laughs> fluffing up. <laughs> I just yeah, want to clarify that sometimes I'm always worried people be like, oh, they, they told me I should draw fluff, which, yes, you, you, you should make your ponies more fluffy. But <laughs> that's a matter of choice. Yes. <laughs> even, even if Cupid's case won't agree. <laughs> let, them, let them decide the fluff on their own. Let them come to the fluff side. <laughs> I do have to say, um, CPC did some really nice um, red lines going on with how the, the flow of the hair could work. Yeah, um, that's really definitely. Nice. I think someone said something about how the hair looks flamey. Um, and it does a little bit like a flame. I guess it depends on the situation. Like maybe the hair would be more like the tail and the back mane if it was underwater. That more like wiggly craziness because water does weird things to hair when you're floating. But if it's just pure flow, usually hair tends to flow together. If you really want that pretty stylized, like I don't know, it it adds to the action line. I guess what I'm getting mm. to. So, it, it definitely sort of shows a bit more of the gravity, like especially with the tail there. It uh, You can see how it's sort of old pony sort of jumped and is landing now, and you can see the tail sort of following through with that. Yeah. I would move that front leg back, um, the the outside leg. The The reason I say that is because the, the way your body's turned, it's not turned enough to warrant the leg moving out as much as you have. You can... Like, you get a general idea of how much it's turned. So I would still maybe move it a little forward from mine, but move yours back more. You know, somewhere in the middle of those two, at best. Yeah, I think somewhere in the, I was going to say, I think somewhere in the middle would work. Uh, mm -hmm. some, uh, very easy to, like to, to do that mistake. <laughs> All the friggin' time do I cheat like that. <laughs> And if you disagree, I mean that's fine. You, you know, if you if you like the placement of the leg where it is, I think it could work. But it, it might so might might also look a bit more balanced if you do maybe back just a little bit. Yeah, and the same thing goes with the back leg, I think, because right now the back legs look at a side view, while you have this more at a from the front. If we look at the front legs, it looks like three fourths. But when you look at the back legs, it looks like side view. Yeah. So you got to either like show seeing... some sort of twist in a bot in the body to show that change, or you got to stick to one of them. And sometimes that like was terrible. it's really yeah, it's really simple to put like a twist in the body to show that there's a directional change. How would you do a twist in the body? Um, usually it's as simple as lines. Like in pink here, CPC drew a little bit of a a line that's going through the back. It's kind of thinking of the overlap. spinal cord. Yeah, the overlap. When you when you look at something, I'm trying to think what would be a good example. 
because a lot of it is portrayed by overlap, showing things at a different angle. Like if you had a box, like at this angle, and then, but you had a box, you know, like at a side view. It's kind of the opposite of what you're doing with the side view being in the back. But anyway, it's it's kind of just seeing where they overlap with each other. So let me just draw this guy again. Really quick, really sloppy. Side view, you know, maybe he's like that. So there's like overlapping. It's, I know it's a little confusing. I thought I had a, a way I could describe it, but maybe not. <laughs> there you go, CBC's doing better with the little thing on the side. <laughs> I shouldn't have done it with boxes. Yeah, it's a matter of showing the planes of things, like what plane it's at. If we're staring at a flat object, we see that one plane. But if you're suddenly looking at 3D objects, like a cylinder, or cube, you're seeing multiple planes. And they interact and they'll overlap depending on how they twist and turn and sit with each other. Like a snake's a good example. Like that third one CPC just drew at the bottom looks like, like a curve of a snake's body. Snakey, snakey. Yeah, what, what, what CPC drew there is really, really, really useful for trying to show that bend. Mm -hmm. That's a, a good bit of reference. There's a thing that sometimes uh, animation, I think it's animation students do, that is the... Um, the Not flower sack. Yeah, yeah, flower sack that helps with that too. That's pretty cool. I think I've heard my friend mention that she does animation at uni. Yeah, the flower sack's always fun. All right, you got any other questions for this lovely, silly horse? I still love the face. That is like a really cute face. And it's I so cute. Mm -hmm. I really like, I always find myself enamored by those styles, like especially the really simple, sketchy sort of looking ones where they have like just a single color for like the eye. They just have like the pupil eyes rather mm -hmm. than having like colors with people inside them. And it's, uh, I don't know why it always just looks so, so nice and so expressive and I always really wish I could try it but it's so different from what I do with my style. I do like the colored eyes, they can be really cute. I remember for a while I was trying to make my pupils really small and I managed to find a way to work it without them looking like they were surprised all the time. Just because it, it looked nice showing more color in the iris. Yeah. But I don't know, there's so many different ways you can interpret art. Ah! So many <laughs> different ways it can be awesome. Especially with pony yeah, stuff. Yes. Yeah. Aww. I love this Twilight, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's move on. So this one is by Lucardo117, and it is the weekly challenge propaganda. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, it's supposed to be propaganda. Ah, uh, it's so funny. They're funny. You're funny, Lucardo. <laughs> <laughs> no one has posted uh, any comments except for a bot who posted a larger version of it. <laughs> Thanks, bot. <laughs> <laughs> so... There's not really too much to go on since this is a very cartoony, <laughs> silly sort of picture. I would say move this book back a little bit. Because it, it's very much like just in the corner of her mouth. So you, what you could do is move this book just so it's uh, a little bit more centered in the mouth. She lost the rest of her mane too. Yeah. And I don't know if it's just me, does, it, does the ear feel like there's like a tangent going on with the hair? I know it's always tricky with Twilight and her hair. Yeah, with Twilight, her hair just sort of does that with the ear. But it's, I mean, what you can, there are ways you can sort of try to overlap it just to show that, hey, yeah, look, the hair is cutting in through the ear here. Um, so you could do that just to help differentiate it a little bit. But mm -hmm. it is hard with Twilight's, yeah. <laughs> CPC, what in the world oh is that? <laughs> <laughs> Silly is real today. Yeah, simplistic picture. You've done a good job. Do more. They're funny. If yeah. it if it puts a hilarious smile on your in someone else's face, then you have succeeded. Absolutely. Next. Join the Ministry of Awesome. 
This is Coca Possibility. Week 42 Propaganda Ministry of Awesome. Just read the follow the Equestria series. Nice. Uh, this was a fun one to do. My proportions are a bit off, but I'm still pleased how it turned out. Any critiques are greatly appreciated. Doesn't it look like she's walking down a catwalk to anyone else? Now I can't unsee it. It's just the way <laughs> they've made the hip turn in so we can see the cutie mark, but then the other mm, leg is yeah. falling behind. Or they're it's drunk definitely a sort of walking, a sort of strutting, strutting forward with one hoof in front of the other kind of pose. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the reason I point this out beyond the weird legs is because if if she's supposed to be one of the ministry mayors, she's got a military doctrine going for her, and that includes how she would like march. Um, doctrine is probably the wrong word here, but marching, like it's a thing you do in the military. You march, 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 and uh, you don't you don't walk off that march. <laughs> so I I think I would take the the hip over here, pull it out, and just straighten that leg so she's not walking limp legged. Mm -hmm. Uh the wings I would also look at. So when you're when you're laying out your horse, and that under sketch is also very important for this type of stuff, mark out where your wings are gonna attach and then draw them off of it. The reason this is or you do this is because it prevents what happened to this wing where it has fallen down uh, on the body. Those ears are interesting. Do like the eye colors. Not quite sure what's happening over here. This thing right here. Is that the main? I think that is the main. Yes, I yes. believe so. And she has no tail. I was about to ask because I wasn't sure with her hair looking shorter if she lost her tail in Fallout Equestria. I I'm not sure. In the world against Sombra. <laughs> it happens. It's terrible. What I'm sort of trying to do is I feel like the body just needs to be a bit grander in scale compared to the head because it's just it makes the body look a bit sort of misproportioned. The, the arms sort of feel a bit too big, but even then still too small in comparison to the head, and just everything's a bit sort of wonky in proportion, so I, I would I would say it... just do this, make the body a bit bigger. Yeah, I, th I think a lot of the, con like, the head can be comically big, like, there, there's chibiness, there's like different ways, but the yeah. neck, the neck is the thing that's really making it feel disproportionate, because you have this big head and big neck, but small body. Like, the, if you look at the neck, the neck's as wide as the hips that's where things start to get thrown off for me. Like, I could believe her having a big head and small body and believe Chibi if the neck was also small in proportion. Yeah, and Mace and Paul also points out something, different, different subjects, sorry. They pointed out there was a tangent here, which obviously if we were to follow your wing, it would go like here and cut, it would be going on over where the arm is, mm -hmm. but it's the fact that they have exactly the same joint Mm -hmm. If you do that, it just looks like it's part of one thing. Because you can just do this. Um, so it's just, like, if you did the um, more like how I've done it, it would look a little bit more sensible because it overlaps the wing. So you don't get that same illusion. Tangents basically are something you want to stay away from when lines sort of mix together to confuse the eye in how shapes are formed. And that's not a good thing. Mm -hmm. Especially when you're doing something that's like a flat image. Yeah. close to a flat image because lines are everything to tell the viewer what's going on mm -hmm. it's especially bad with comics because there's a lot more sort of opportunities for tangents to happen particularly between panels where like say as someone's arm will look like going onto the side of a panel and then it'll like lead into like a path going down the next panel where there's like a wider shot or something like the the arm will like have the same exact like 
positioning as the path, so it just looks like they're just stretching across the page. Like that's where I, that's where I first heard about tangents was someone showing like comic pages that had some really bad ones. And it can be quite fun to sort of spot them. All right, then. Shall we move on to the next one? Sounds yeah. good. Also, I just spotted in the Telegram Galacon chat that Kipens case made uh, uh, Katie's sticker of her with the thumbs down sign into an actual sticker. <laughs> it's colored and everything. That's great. Nice. So the next one is by Deluxe Flame. Uh, it's for Week 42 Propaganda. I'm so happy so many people are doing these um, weekly whatchamathingies, themes. Yes. Absolutely. Uh, so, never drawn Zakora before. She has some interesting differences than a standard pony drawing uh, would have. Lost the will to keep working on it on paper and just colored it instead of dropping in. I understand the mask doesn't make physical sense since it's not strapped to her in any matter. Other than that, question is, is there anything atomically incorrect with the face or mask? There are, there are plenty of times in MLP where, like, they, they won't, you know, you have sort of, like, in cartoons in general, like, oh, a scuba mask, but, like, they're underwater, so how is it functioning, you know, stuff like that, like, they put a mask on that isn't connected to their face, really. You just sort of learn to accept it. I yeah. think it's fine. Um, the mask, those. I would try and, I don't know if there's any way of sort of because you, you got this sort of curve here. I feel like I want to try and find a way to accentuate that there's this like cylinder, but sort of curved into the mask. And I'm not trying to fi I'm trying to figure out how that would sort of make a lot more sense. Uh, I don't know, but more more detail lines might help you to bring things out a little bit. I'll be back in just a second. Mm. Also, I don't know what your sort of method for coloring this was. You know, you just I think they just you had like a sketch and then have tried to color fill. I guess. I don't know if this is done like MS Paint or something, um, but it's uh, you, it's obviously very messy because of the the style of of trying to color. I would just there there are there are many ways that you can get your hands on some great drawing programs that give you nice layers and everything, and you can do some nice line art even if you don't have a tablet. Yeah, and if you just want to use your traditional line art, you can also put the the line art at the top. Mm -hmm. and then use a multiply layer and just color underneath and that works too. Mm. Yeah, or you can Absolutely. have like a, a set of colors that are each multiply layers as well on top, but they, that's more complicated. Might as well just make the, the sketch line up the multiply thing. But whichever, there's, there's multiple ways of doing it. That's, that's one of the beauties of digital coloring is there's lots of ways of sort of working around a problem and giving you the resources you need to, to sort of accomplish what you're trying to do. There's mm -hmm. not just one answer. Uh, but yeah, just I mean, there are plenty of free drawing programs. There are some really good paid ones. Uh, a lot of us here recommend keep uh, recommend to get uh, your hands on CSP Clip Studio Paint because it's really it's just like a really good program. But it isn't a free one. So if you do want a free one, there are plenty of those. There's Krita, I think is isn't Medibang free? Medibang's free. I haven't used that one much myself though. And there's GIMP, which is what I used for most of the time uh, until I started using Clip Studio. Um, and I didn't you I didn't color with a tablet. I had a tablet, but I on GIMP I oh yeah, Fire Packer, I forget that. It's not a web browser, I get it confused with Firefox. Uh, just a fluffier version of Firefox. Uh it was, I used the path tool on GIMP, so I was just like making uh stretching out these these lines in a way that was kind of similar to Vector. And then I actually did start doing Vector at some point. So there's lots of ways you can you don't even need a graphics tablet really, uh, to get your artwork looking fantastic. But you should never try and color on the single layer of like your your scanned artwork. Like that's just never really a good idea to do. When you're just making yourself have a lot more hard work. Mm -hmm. And um, also, yes, Clip Studio Paint is a paid program, but it goes on sale about every four months for really yeah. affordable prices, like 20 to 20 It gets so yes. cheap. And you don't need the, the fancy pro version that, uh -uh. that does, like, literally three things. Yep. Um, 
One of them is that you get to do have any amount of animation frames you want, which is something Ali and I wish we had, but it's uh, mm-hmm. only if you specifically do animation. Yeah, and that's why it, I got to Pro, it's just because of the animation. <laughs> yeah, exactly, that's the only reason I wanted. <laughs> it has more in-depth 3D stuff, and then also I think it comes, like, if you get the the better, whatever it's called, is it XE? Pro X, 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 X. X. Yeah. Um, X. That also comes with, it pretty much makes it into a publishing program for manga. Because mm, I mean, it's weird it's because, for. yeah, that's what that was its original purpose. With manga Studio, it was as much a publishing program as it was an art program, which is why it was very difficult to use and very, like, I was, it was just really stressful and strenuous on the computer and it's slow and just, it was hard to actually get creative with it. And then my friend one day was like, while well, I was sitting there on GIMP, coloring my pictures, she was like, hey, have you tried Manga Studio 5? That's a thing now. And I was like, oh, I've only used four. That's interesting. And so I like I tried it and I was like, this is the best program ever. I love this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, I don't know if there's anything particularly wrong with the anatomy. What you could do, this is not really something that's wrong, but how I would interpret I accidentally clicked on the the top bar for draw pile trying to go to the program that drawing on the canvas and it minimized it and I couldn't get it back in. Um oh how I would interpret this. You got like the head circle. Um I would sort of push the ma- the the body the neck, sorry. Hard to draw and brain at the same time. Push the neck forward maybe a little bit. Um let's see. So just to sort of have it have it a bit more dynamic. Um mm-hmm. so head's coming down, goes like this, and we can imagine that the body is sort of stretching on like this. This is just, yeah, so it's sort of like a proud zebra pose. Just because then that's a little bit more dynamic than just, like, you, you don't really just sit there and have just, like, here's my neck, and then here's my head. Yay. Like, you, you, you have a lot more sort of curve to your body. So mm-hmm. I thought that would, uh... Granted, it's not very good. Oh, it should be a bit... And you've got your, your shoulders... Not that you're doing all this, but sometimes it's fun just to explore what else could exist in the picture. Yeah. That's and it helps you sort of understand what you've got in the picture, if that makes sense. Oh, I just realized there is like a tangent to the... Okay, the, uh, the, the head's supposed to come down here, so... Yeah. I got that wrong a little bit. My bad. Yeah. There we go. And of course the fluff. <laughs> of course. But what you gotta do is have bits of fluff poking out between the the, <laughs> the rings here. That's pretty cute actually. <laughs> um as for the gas mask, I think something that's kind of throwing me off is how it's positioned right now we have you know this air vent and then there's an air vent all the way up there but height wise it doesn't quite make sense that the air vent would be all the way up here you probably wouldn't see much of it at all if at all so just simple things to think of there a lot of the issues i see with it are perspective based so it's really just looking into and understanding perspective like to put yeah. something on because she's a ball her head is a ball so sometimes just getting a ball in front of you and seeing how it curves and where the perspective is at the angle you want it to be sometimes like you can tape a piece of paper onto the ball to like simulate a muzzle and that helps you really see what you would actually see when drawing it like you wouldn't see the other air vent on her far side because right now that's almost on her eye it is on her eye. Yeah. So, I mean, often we do want to show stuff like that because, oh, look, it exists, and we're sort of trying to mm-hmm. show off the, the, the how this looks. But, yeah, like I said, I think that wouldn't really be visible. It's a bit unnecessary. I think otherwise, that's that's all I have to say. Um, Nice job on the flowers. Uh, I think a lot of it's mm-hmm. just a little dirty because of the way you colored it but um we talked about different ways you could possibly color in the future 
Um, other, yeah, otherwise... I'd On a different layer from the sketch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, what I typically do, it, it, I'm going to talk like about uh, drawing and scanning just because it's relevant. I will get the scan into the the uh, the program and then I'll just like I'll lower the opacity of the layer a bit so it's gen more gentle. Assuming that there's like a white page background layer too. If not, I'll just make a white layer underneath it, um, just so you don't get like all the transparency uh, shapes because it's confusing. And uh, sometimes I'll have like a really low opacity blue screen layer or something because then that'll make it so the drawing's not quite as harsh and you can do your black line art without uh, being confused by the sketch, which is probably also done in like dark graphite um, or ink as you've got in this one. Uh, so that just makes it a lot easier for you to visually see what you're actually drawing. And then I'll just go ahead and do all the line art, then just take the sketch off and then just color on the line art itself. But that, that of course, uh, implies that you have a graphics tablet, but you don't need to. Like I said, you can have uh, programs like Gimp, or you can get like Illustrator if you're rich, or uh, Inkscape if you're not rich, um, <laughs> to do like your vector stuff with. We just have to wait for Zom Zom. I'm here. Yeah, we got a. Oh, oh yeah. he's back. I was just enjoying Already. listening to you guys talk. Uh, <laughs> we have a submission in Picarto, so. What? Instead of looking uh, at the eggy. Yep. How dare people give us their submissions like we ask them to all the time? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a fun. Aggie. I wonder if I could draw anything. Uh. It makes me like, I'm already ready for Halloween. This just made me even more ready for Halloween. <laughs> did we... I mean, there's already Christmas decorations out, but anyway, what? Did we do that one before? Did we? Oh, Applejack Lion. Mm -hmm. This does look familiar. Let's have a look. Continue. I might just have a mistake. Uh, I don't. I don't recognize it. I think I we did a different. So we did a sim. Yeah. We did something of Applejack Lion costume, but not this one specifically. That's that's not Applejack, is it? I just got Flush Eyes Kitty Mark and Long Mane, so I think it's Flush Eyes Lion costume. A bit z z a bit Z. <laughs> it's Fluttershy. Yeah, I was All right. right. Let's do this. Any questions for us? Helps if I upload it. One moment. Yeah. Uh, Abtiz, which I can pronounce and LD can never pronounce. <laughs> Need help with the hoofs. The hoofs. The hoofs. The hoofs. <laughs> the hoofs are on fire. Oh gosh! <laughs> she poof, she floof, she have that fluffy hoof. <laughs> Alright, it's uploaded to the very bottom. Woohoo! Like your signature. That's very clever. It is it's super adorable. Mm hmm. All right. So you need help with the hooves. Let's have a look. Uh, if I can actually zoom in, do the drawing, that'd be helpful. Oh my god, so where's my cursor? I think that might help is not considering the paws as like a glove. Consider yeah. them like actual paws. Because I know sometimes can get like finicky, especially with that far paw, the one, yeah, the one Fluffy just drew over. Um, it, it looks like it's falling off. I mean, maybe that could be your thing, like what's going on. She's like, her hooves are, or her hooves, not her hooves. The paw is falling off as she's playing with <laughs> the, you know, the ball. But um, yeah, like how you deal with the front hooves, they feel much nicer because they feel like it's part of the hoof. 
<laughs> yet I still understand that it's a glove. Dodge does not work. Okay, just wanted something a little bit easier to sketch with. Okay, um, yeah, so that's that's sort of what I was gonna look at doing as well because I don't like how this is sort of like taped to the bottom of the leg. That's sort of what I was thinking of as well. Like, hey, his lion costume, rah. That looks like it'd be be much more comfortable for ponies to wear. Much more fun. Although, yeah, they these are um, actually just like paws put onto the end of the hooves, aren't they? What you could do is have a have like a kegel roomy kind of thing. Yeah. So it's all just like a costume. The lion ears as like just stick on little hats for the ears is adorable. Mm-hmm. I already established I'm not good at cloth creases. Ah. <laughs> Because otherwise, it's like she's just got sort of like a mane around her neck and like the ear thing. I mean, it's very cute. I like it. It's mm -hmm. just it's, you could also experiment having a full costume, which would make the the hoof paw things easier to figure out. You could you also didn't have experiment to, though. Um, with her hair being a part of the mane. She yeah, she so could have like hair. wrapped it around. Yeah. It would be easy for her to do that. Yeah. Mhm. Mm just like how you did with the tail, and it's braided. Let's see if I just do some doodling at the side. It's gonna be a flash Who is the cutest pony? Okay, so then... Uh, let's see, so normally if I, oh, which layer am I even drawing on? Okay. If I, if normally we have her main, we'll go like this and then it comes around like this. I should also draw the remainder of her face. I'm assuming that all this is visible in the stream. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is so hard to draw on. Uh, it's gonna look terrible, but whatever. Uh, her mane goes like this, woohoo, or some, something similar. So, what we're gonna do is take that and experiment and say, what if she sort of has her mane like wrapped around sort of like this or something? Like, ooh. And here she has kind of a cute little lion main thing going on. You still sort of have something similar with her. Maybe her main sort of pulled down a little bit. Or maybe maybe it still sort of goes like this and just tucks around a bit more. It's interesting to sort of take the main stars and think how could they it is important to ask though how do they make sense? How does the hair fall like this? So it might be that her hair is sort of tucked a little bit more tightly. I am doing a terrible job of this, but yeah. No, it's really cute. That's what that's what you do with drawing experiment. Experiment. Mm -hmm. The other question they had was how would the wings look at this angle? And I think a lot of that comes down to what you want the wings to be doing. Are they going to be open with her playing? Are they going to be, you know, tucked down and closed? Maybe slightly opened? There's a lot of that to think about. Which also will determine how they look. And I believe Zomzom already closed. Yeah, I believe Zomzom already um, drew a little bit out here, this blue. They pretty much hug close to the body. Then MLP's wings are indestructible. I would, <laughs> I think I'd just leave the wing open as opposed to curled into the body, but like the relaxed open. Yeah. I want to expand it out because I'd just look, I'd throw it off. <laughs> 
You got any other questions a bit? Aptis. Aptis. Okay, legs? Good. Can I do Who's good? Hair can use some work, but there's not much going on on your picture. Like you, you haven't finished the hair for us, or even the the under sketch is there. And Fluffy's talked about the flowingness. Should you make bigger? Uh, it depends. You can you can reduce or, or tame its size, and then use it that that to your advantage for trying to make that lion hoodie. I'm gonna just hide it under there. That'd be my suggestion, is just give an indication that it's there, but hide the rest under the mane, like the, the lion's mane. Hmm. <coughs> hey, I, I cannot get the Aggie to work. Shake because it. when I try yeah. to st when I try to stroke it thinks that I'm like trying to scroll like on a tablet screen or something, so it just pulls the page down. Well, that's weird. And it does it is weird. I can't actually draw because of it. It just shakes the page. I wanted to draw. I'll try on Chrome. All right, uh, let's move on to the next one then. Woo. Uh, oh, well, they actually got two more. Weird. Uh, we're gonna do the Scooter Juice one. This is by Louis or Lulu's. Yes, Lulu's Evil Twin Ululu. Ah, uh, critique Scooter Juice. That is the only words on this thing. Uh. So let's talk this horse. Hmm. Helps if I don't use blue. Let's, let's have a look. So I feel like the the nose sort of has a, the whole muzzle has a bit of a weird shape to it. Mm hmm. You can interpret the straw however you want, but that's how I think the nose should be. Um. No, that's not what you're doing? Okay. I, I just hum random tunes. Any resemblance to actual songs is coincidence and not intention of MLPDS. <laughs> <laughs> is that how you uh, prevent the uh, bands and the flags? <laughs> oh, you know you can never escape Stranger Sources flags. I, I also have no idea what you were humming. I, I I'm just I was just busy drawing. Uh, the Jurassic Park theme. Oh okay. I wasn't really listening. Why have you stolen a different color? There we go. I realized it was a bad idea to draw pink on top of a pink eye. It it occasionally does happen. Oh, now we got a fluffy flag. Is that? <laughs> I'm sure. So, how do you mirror on this program? V is V. Okay. Just to make sure mirroring is important to make sure that everything is where it should be. You can't actually see these eyes, so I don't know why I'm drawing them. <laughs> the top there, but it helps to figure out where everything is. Um. Then let's see the face. Mm 
yeah, I mean, I just sort of look at making the face a bit more like this. So you can see the lines a little bit better. Wrong layer. That make any sense? That makes sense to me. I would also like to give this my two ear salute. There is good reason to not show that second ear. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, it's about all I can do, think of to sort of fix it up just just straightening up the way the face looks really there's I mean it's there's all sorts of ways you can do it you don't have to, to do it exactly how I've done it here but it's I just felt that the muzzle's a bit too sort of pointed downwards um, so it just if you look at the original so it's uh, it's just about sort of balancing where the eyes are so they're a bit more symmetrical balancing the face uh, I didn't draw it but really with uh, with doing a drawing like this You've got the green circle here, which LD drew, and then from that you do this. And then you know where the face is falling. I would do a correction to the hat, too. Um, mm -hmm. You have the mane popping outside of the hat, which doesn't really make sense for how hats work, unless if it's like going through the back of like a baseball cap ponytail thing, when people do that. Uh, I, it looks like you're going for like a safari or a hard hat style thing so I would just keep that mane tucked inside that hat and just extend the brim out a bit and that way you can hold the you can contain the power of Dash's mane in there that's about all I got how about you Fluffy uh, I think it's all I got as well Allie is she still here I think she's I think she went she's gone off she's been very quiet games. so I think she won't be a bee all right, then let's go on to our last picture here. Let me just move this down. Okay, our mm -hmm. last picture here is provided by the art of doing science. Science. Science rules. Uh, is there a science of doing art? That I don't know. We'll have to find out. So it is work in progress, pretty awkward angle, looking for improvement. I gotta say, right off the bat, bold of you. Bold. This yeah. is an angle people don't like. And I like think you've do. done a good job of trying to, yeah, I think you've done a good job of trying to do it. And never be afraid to try and do a cool, amazing pose that you thought of, you know. It's, it's, it's something that's easy to be intimidated by. I feel that the main should be a bit more sort of up because it's sort of, the way it it finishes just above the horn is a little bit on the uh it just doesn't really feel like it goes up far enough but i'm not sure if that's really the case uh why is my computer only now reminding me to get to the quit stream <laughs> did you it's did been going change i don't know and, uh, i don't know i think i think i only just it's like got a backlog of notifications it's just trying to throw at me Stop telling me about Game Grumps. This is not the time for being grumpy. It's time for being creative. Why not both? Ah. True. This is very ice cream hair, I'm sorry. But you can <laughs> interpret it how you, how you want. The, the picture is very small for me. I think I might have shrunk it down too much because I'm dealing with like six pixels of space. <laughs> uh, Silly LD. Yeah. So, what have you done? Maze is right. Hoof, the the one you have curved down. You've basically flanned out the entire wrist section of it. Honestly, I'd just go for under hoof here. Just give us the underside. Make her make her reach out. Why not? There's no no reason to try and tuck that thing away. Uh, 
Um, I would I would also look at the eyes. Right now you've made them wee to bitsy teeny weeny. I would enlarge them a lot more because hey MLP, big eyes. And I would take the ears and bring them along the side of the head. High ears. Because horses have ears out the side. Or at least our little horses. Our little colorful horses. Mm -hmm. That's all I got for that one. It is a wonderful picture. Your wings, they are majestic as frig. Absolutely. They're so good. I love that they're like a cape. Yeah. I don't know, maybe I'd move them up a little bit. Like forward? They feel yeah, see, I, I think so. I'd agree with that. Like just along the back, like it if you look more at yeah, the center of the if you look at where the shoulders, shoulders are for the for the legs, it just looks like they're a bit too low down on the mat. Yeah, otherwise, very nice, very good pose. All right, uh, anyone else have any pictures they'd like critiqued? Any other questions they'd like to ask? Any other bribes they'd like to send towards Fluffy's eye? What what am I being bribed for now? A fluffiness. <sighs> Gotta get down with the fluffiness. Uh, I would like to remind everyone that there is an eggy going on. It is started by the ever silly stranger source, who is likely to flag I us wanted, for I possibly. I draw, but I can't. I said, a hip, hop, a hip, hop, and a hip, hip, hop, and a don't stop. <laughs> Do a bang, bang, boogity, up, jump, boogity, rhythm of the boogity beat. Wait for Strange to flag you. To flag you. <laughs> now, what you hear is not a test. I'm rapping to the beat. Boop, boop. Said me, my friends, <laughs> and the groove are gonna try to move your feet. Now, I am Wonder Mike, and I'd like to say hello. That's all I know. That's all. <laughs> He's gonna say this whole song. <laughs> so, Chrome, I have no pressure to see. On Edge, I can't even tell because it seems I try to stroke, it like moves the whole canvas instead of making a stroke. Uh, Do I love it? Like, I don't know how, I don't think this works at all on Brave. I tried it the other day and it just has also has no pressure sensitivity. Uh, it's annoying. I had to draw. Hey, professor, what to do next to improve? Oh, we're the professor. Hey, we're professors <gasps> now. Ooh. At Twilight School. Apparently. Uh, what to do next? Yay. To uh, well, it depends what you're going after. Like, uh, want to draw. I think we did your picture today, did we? Did we do a want to draw? No. No? I don't believe we did. Okay. No. We asked him to do all the sketches, remember? Right. Right. Uh, let me, I think I have that in art. I mean, the first thing I'll say is keep sketching. Like, totally. I know you did that whole group, but it's a matter of doing more and more and more and more of that. If you want to keep working on anatomy and such. Mm, Look for the picture. Uh, yeah, so as Ali said, keep sketching, keep going, just just keep doing it. Uh, you can also uh, start branching off. So you've did what twenty pictures, twenty sketches. What element you start breaking down those sketches you did and decide what elements of those pictures you actually liked. Um, for instance, mm -hmm. because you you were trying to mimic other people's styles, which is a great way to sort of build up your portfolio of art. Mm-hmm. I might even suggest throwing some actual horses in there. Because sometimes, like, understanding and learning act the anatomy the show is based on can be really helpful when determining how to do strange poses and such. Totally. Like, just how, you know, if you're drawing anime, it's good to know how the actual human body works because you need to know how like the limbs work but even though it's simplified with like anime or whatever style have you it's always nice to have an understanding of the thing it's based on so to continue that thought uh you have this portfolio of pictures you've made break down them 
and decide what elements you like, what elements you don't like. With the elements you like, start literally creating a list of them and you're going to combine those into one picture if you can. Like if you like two different types of mains, that's going to be real hard, but hey, you can mix and match and breed and crossbreed and create whole new types of Pokemon here. It'd be great. Absolutely. Um, so take take the elements you like and try and integrate them into a style of your own. Don't expect to pull it off in one picture. Lordy, lordy, that would be impossible. Uh -uh. Instead, like you did, do it 10 times. Do it 20 times. Do it 100 times. Do it 1,000 times. Whatever uh -uh. until you get comfortable with what you're doing. Um, yes, you should probably come back to critique in that time because yeah. you'll... Unless if you're constantly actively critiquing yourself, you're likely going to be missing something. And even if you are actively critiquing yourself, you're still going to be missing something. This is the best part of Absolutely. critique when you get to bounce it off other people. You're going to miss something. You're, as a human being, you miss stuff. We miss stuff all the time. We have people in the chat going, hey, hey, you, you, didn't, you didn't tell them about the, the, the hair. Tell them about the hair mm -hmm. thing. We need that. We're all human. We all make mistakes. Let's do this together. So, to summarize, take those elements, make your style, see what works for you and what doesn't. And when you have a pretty good idea of what you're aiming for, come on back, and uh, or come on back to your art, and then you're going to start, you know, pushing what you have further. And not in style, I mean in actual technical ability, so hey... I have this nifty style or these long lanky bodies and these fluffy manes going on and some magic flowy stuff over on the eyes. Cool. Now let's shade it. Let's color it. Let's build up some backgrounds that match that stylizing. That's, that's building up. Build up your art. I hope that yeah. makes sense. Does it make sense to you want to draw? Yes, that is the proper words. Let's build something great. Or at least something cute. You know, cute can be great, but they don't have to be synonymous with each other. <laughs> uh, right. Uh, so unless if anyone else has any questions or any art they would like critiqued or any other, uh, I don't know, cute pencil cases they would like to draw as mice. <laughs> We're gonna call it a day. I'm not for you pencil case. Do it. Yay! Reminder: There's still an eggy going on. Uh, throwing a couple of adorable doodles on there. It's always a good thing. It's good for the mind, good for the soul, good for the horses. <laughs> Pony. All right, well, with that, uh, I think we'll be signing off. Bye bye. Ooh, so long. Me. Bye. bye. <laughs>